In this video, we are going to see how to automatically generate email templates with ChatGPT, which is a language model developed by OpenAI. We know that OpenAI is an artificial intelligence and deployment company that helps in generating human-like content. Now here, let's say that every time a new row is added in your spreadsheet, we have taken the example of a Google Sheet with a new title for which you have to develop the email template. Now with the help of chat GPT automatically the content should be generated and then the same sheet should be updated with the content that you have just created. How can that be done? For this you will have to integrate these applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. So here your trigger application will be Google Sheets, then your action application will be chat GPT and then again it will be Google Sheets to update the cell value. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process here, first I'm going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. We have reached the landing page of the software. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And if you are a new user, you can sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. Now we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the dashboard. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here you can give any random name to your workflow. What is my objective? So my objective here is that I have got certain titles with that. I want to create email templates. So I'm going to name it as generate email templates with chat GPT. Now I'm going to click on create. So as I do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. So trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. So my trigger application here will be Google Sheet as I've got the titles in my Google Sheet. Now the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. So this here would be new or updated split sheet row. Now here you can see that we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Sheets with Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information. Also here you can see that it is written this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time which means that this trigger application has got no polling time so you don't have to wait for the response. Now please read these instructions carefully and I'm going to show you what exactly we have to do. So this here is the sheet that I have created. The name of the split sheet here is email templates. Since there is only one sheet the name is sheet one and we have got two column fields. One is email prompts and another one is email template. So prompt is basically the instruction that you provide to chat GP. So now let's say the email prompt which is the email instruction is leave application for five days due to high fever now I'm going to go to extensions now here you can see add-ons let's go to get add-ons here we have reached Google workspace marketplace so here I'm going to look for public connect webhooks so here it is and now here you can see that the application has already been installed on my system so please make sure that once you install this close this window and refresh the page this is absolutely mandate now once we have done this we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we'll go back to extensions you can see public connect webhooks here we are going to go to initial setup so as we reach here, you can see that the system has already selected the sheet and here we have to paste the webhook URL. So we have just received it here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this over here. The next thing is the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added. And in this particular sheet, the data is added in column A. So I'm going to mention A here. Let's click on send test. And as I do that here, you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit. And as we do that, we can see that the configuration is all set. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to take you back to extensions, back to Pabli Connect webhooks. Here you can see send on event and you can see a tick mark right in front. So basically 
this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can send the information to pably connect so if there is no tick in front of it please click on this and you will find that it is checked now once this is done i'm going to take you to pably connect to see if we have received the response and yes here it is so we have received the response the trigger column is a then we have the spreadsheet name spreadsheet id sheet name sheet id then we have the row index and here we have got the email prompts now once i have received this now with the help of chat gpt i'm going to generate an email template for this particular title so i'm going to choose my action application here as chat gpt and the action event here would be to ask chat gpt i'm going to click on connect as we do that here public connect is asking to connect itself with the chat gpt account so i'm going to click on add new connection now to set up this connection we need a token i have already logged into my open ai account so let's click on this hyperlink and here you can see the api key so i'm going to click on create new secret key the api key has been generated let's copy this go back to public connect and here i'm going to paste this Let's click on save to set up this connection. Now we can see that chat GPT and public connect are totally connected. We have to now fill in this information. First of all, the AI model. So here we have given, so here we have two options. One is chat GPT 3.5 turbo. Then we have GPT 3.5 turbo 0301. Now this one has the latest. So I'm going to go ahead with this. Next is the prompt. So what is the prompt for us? So write an email template for the title. Now I already have a title. What is it? So I'm going to go to step one. And as I take you down, this here is the title. So basically, the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. If I had written this manually, so even when my workflow was running for the nth time, it would have taken the same title. So now i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that we have received the response so let's go and check content that we have just received so here we have the subject and you can see that the entire template is here isn't that amazing now what do i want to do so i've received the template and i want this to be updated as a cell value in the same google sheet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose my action application next again as google sheet Let's click on this and the action event here would be to update cell value. Let's click on this, click on connect. So here I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. So here you can see that we have to fill in this information. So the name of the spreadsheet and the sheet has already been captured by the system. Now here we have to enter the range. So the range here would be column name. So the column name is column B. So I'm going to write B and then we have to mention the row index. For row index, I'm going to go to step one and this here is the row index. So once this is done, then we have to enter the value to be updated. So I'm going to click on this, go to step two and this here is the content. Now let's click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we can see we have received the response according to which now this information must have become a part of my Google Sheet. So I'm going to take you there. And yes, here is the entire email template, which basically means that now you do not have to waste any time in writing these templates. It is all ready in front of you. You just have to customize it and you can send. Now, I'm going to see the same in real time. So I'm going to enter another template here. So let's say here I'm going to write induction mail for new employee okay induction mail for new employee now i'm going to click on enter so as i do that first with the help of chat gpt the content would be generated and then finally it is going to become a part of this google sheet so now let's wait for the few seconds and here you can see that we have received the same so this basically means that our integration is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application is Google Sheets. 
where the event is new or the updated spreadsheet row. Then our action application is chat GPT where we had generated the content and our final action application is Google Sheets where we had updated the cell value. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.